Hi, this is Sheshanan. I just want to give an example on DC motor and embedded C by using 8051 controller. So I'll show you program and as well as produce simulation how to write embedded C program for to interface DC motor by using controller and I'll show you the output with produce simulation. So just open your Keel Microvision installed from your computer and just this is existence project just close it now you had to start the process to create a project just click on project tab and choose the option new Microvision and here you need to know where you are going to save your project select your local disk and create your own folder on a drive. and then so just I'm going going with my new folder which is aerotech channel and here embedded C and give the project name as related to your application so I'm just giving DC motor and click on save now this window for selecting microcontroller from different manufacturers so you can choose any microcontroller from these different manufacturers so select your controller from specific manufacturer because you need to fix your target here select your device on admin and click on plus mark so which will it will show this devices from this manufacturer now select your device so that you can observe the internal features how much memory it supports how many IO lines it supports how many timers so still you can find out any extra features as per block diagram after choosing your device click on ok now this is your startup code warning click on no up to now you created a project for your specific microcontroller now to write a program you need to open editor to open editor window go file tab and choose the option new here you can type your program so i'm just writing project title this dc motor interfacing with 8051 so give the standard header file which is reg51.h and define your IO connections with the motor inputs so I'm just connecting across P1.0 pin And the other end of motor is connected with P1.1 and you need to apply some delay between clock and anti-clockwise so that I'm using user defined function delay from here main starts the initial logics of motor inputs has zeros So this clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation I'll keeping in an infinite loop while of one. The first input logic is one and second input is logic is zero so that your motor starts clockwise rotation. And now I'm giving delay so that you can watch the response from DC motor. After some time delay change your logics for your inputs which is logic 1 and logic 0 again apply delay for anti-clockwise so for this program your motor will respond clock and anti-clockwise directions and then give delay so within this delay function you can develop your delay programs with timers or else self for loops 
so i'm using self for loop to produce some time delay which is based on data type if you take long data type you can give more value still this delay is not sufficient to you you can give same for loop again this will give more time delay for us so this is a simple logic two input logics are 1 and 0 and after some time again changing my logics to 1 and 0 now you just written program on editor window now how to compile this program just go file tab and choose the option save so now you need to save your program with .c extension give the program name followed by .c extension is compulsory now click on save your program is saved now this program has to compile with respect to target select your target and click on plus mark it will so shows you source group one option now right click it and choose the option add files to source group one so which program you are looking to compile just select it and click on add and then close once the file is added you will get plus mark with source group one so this is a procedure to compile your program now after adding your file with target go project tab and choose the option build a target so it will shows errors and warnings present in the program if you did any mistakes with syntaxes it will show the errors with a specific line number you can double click on error and you can rectify your errors and every time this is your shortcut save button and this is your build button you can use these two shortcut buttons for your save and build so once you got zero errors and zero warnings with the existence program your microcontroller never allows .c files directly you need to create .hex files so to create .hex file select target one and right click on it and choose the option options for target target one so now set the oscillator frequency which is connected in your hardware board now highlight this use on chip ROM and select output tab in the same window and highlight this create hex file and click on ok and after doing all this again build the project now it will show you hex file name in your output window now minimize your programming tool and use your produce simulation tool to develop your hardware so this is your hardware simulation tool which helps to design your circuit and check your output with simulation itself so simulation means it helps to check your hardware output with the help of software now you need to click on this P letter so now it allows to pick the components from the library now whatever the components you are trying to pick you need to type with a suitable keyword I just given 889C51 and choose your driver IC for DC motor and select your DC motor close this just components window now place your individual components on this design select and click it on the window now I just place three individual components is required for application now I make it X mirror so that input lines will get in this side so you can zoom it if you have any required connections now so as per program two input lines which are connected with 1.0 
and 1.1 of this driver IC and the corresponding output lines you need to connect with motors and you need to give power connections for your driver IC so these power connections you will get on terminals mode and power so this 8 and 16 you need to give it UECC and also these enable lines you need to connect with power In the ground you need to make sure this ground connection with this mostly you are just you will place at the edge but you need to connect compulsory once you will get connection you will get dot so this you need to check it with your hardware connection now after doing your hardware connection so just try to double click on microcontroller it will ask for program file where it is present in your computer just select it and D drive and my channel is Aerotech solutions and open your embedded C now DC motor is my hex file name select it and change your clock frequency as same as your hardware Now, now you can use this play button to run this hardware output. You can watch your motor rotation clockwise sometime and then it changes direction to anti-clockwise direction. So clock and anti-clock as per TA. So this is a simple application with DC motor using microcontroller. For more videos, you have to follow our channel and we are in training and placement last from 6 years and we are doing projects and we are in development also. So for more videos, you can follow our channel on YouTube and this is our address to visit our office here very near to KPHP metro station, Kukatpalli, Hyderabad. And you can reach us with this telephone contact 9676327118. And if you need any technical concepts, module wise or total training, you can contact us. Thanks for watching.